kind of wish you'd stepped out, Tommy. It'll be fine. It's gonna come right back to me. Great airplane, bad color for today. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Oh, come on. One big circle. <laughs> Fantastic, though. I would have liked it better if it were right over the tree and then back out. Uh, okay, tell me what you got there, William. So this is a tomahawk embryo. Uh, uh, last outdoor season, at the last contest of the season, uh, this guy was stepped on by a dog. So uh, late last night, I opened the box, took out all the pieces, and just uh, cyanoed everything back together. Um, and it seems to be flying okay, so hopefully the resurrection will do pretty well. It's flying quite well from what I can see. Yeah, let's hope it uh, can repeat the performance. Thank you. Wine. Thank you. And Mr. John isn't in? No. You're in your car, by the way. You see him? in the car. Nice flight. Yeah, I really like the order. Nice, yeah. puffy light stuff. Yeah, you. William, you're not in this? <laughs> no. Why not? I'm ready. All ready? Yeah. Gentlemen, start watches now. Ready? Set. Launch. Oh, oh yeah. no. One more first one now. Wrecking. Ah! Doing good. Yeah, I just did it. Am I doing okay? Uh oh. What happened? Rick? Right? Second time I've done that. Tell me what you got there, Rick. Hey, this is the uh, Brown B1. This is a uh, Dave Stott design. In fact, it was Dave Stott's last plan, found by uh, Paul Stott. And asked me if I'd build it, and I said yes, it would be an honor to build it. So the Brown B1, uh, kind of unusual construction. The leading edge, the trailing edge, and the wingtips are all bamboo skewers that have been uh, it's trimmed down, so therefore you don't want to mid-air me in a, in a mass launch. <laughs> Can I see the bottom? Let me see the landing gear, because those are pretty distinctive. Yeah, the, yeah, you did a great job with those. And it's a beautiful flying airplane. I can attest oh, for man. it. I'm trying to get some Dave video Stott out of it. Dave is an amazing designer. Yeah. He is just amazing. It's so much fun to build his planes and fly them. Thanks, Rick.
Yeah, I know. Now you got it at your back, right? I don't know. Where's? I think we maybe uh, thermal or something coming through too, because that flag is doing weird stuff over there. Uh, uh. Really undeterminable. It's out of there for a second. Isn't that funny? We'll see the thermal. How often do you launch wishing for a poor flight? <laughs> She's going. Yeah, yeah. That's plenty. Uh oh. Come on back around. Come on now, sister. Oh. Back around, back around. Well. Might be in the trees. Okay. But uh, I'm elated to have it back because it's yeah, right it now. Look, I mean, what, what, where'd you take damage? Okay, right okay. there, and there's uh, one, two, three sets of struts missing. Oh. And uh, but that's all right. I can make those and like make those in a half an afternoon. And, uh, and uh, how high back. up in the tree, Vance? Oh, how high? Is um, that's a great question. Hey, Paulie! How high up would you have said? So that's, is that 40? Really? Was it 60 feet? Between 40 and 60 feet. Okay. <laughs> that was up there. And everybody's necks and upper shoulders. <laughs> Wait till tomorrow morning. Yeah, right? <laughs> What do you got there, Mike? Micro X Piper J3 Cub. Good looking airplane. It's 30 years old. <laughs> and it still flies good. Let's see you go. No, not even because I haven't gone in. Thanks. Okay, what do you got there, Mark? This is a Jimmy Allen Special. Uh, it's an easy built kit. And I'm flying it in, oh, what the heck is it? 24 plus 1? What is it? 2 bit? Oh, sport model, sport maybe? Sport model, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. Let's see it go. Okay, we'll give it a whirl. I'd say so. Nice flight.
All right, tell me what you got. Designed by a guy I used to fly with a long time ago named Dick Herring. And he's one of the famous for uh, Janik engineering. So I built a peanut. First, I built a 16 inch version, which flew really nicely. So I built this peanut that flies pretty good. Pretty good. Hard, hard to get a good time. Okay, so what do you got there? All right, I have a chambermaid, uh, and it uh, flew today in the uh, racers uh, competition, and actually did pretty well when there were low winds. So I was quite pleased with the thing. Yeah, you were maybe twice as high as everybody else from what I saw. Uh, I thought Tom went, Tom Allen went up higher at certain points. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a tough. Well, congratu congratulations on the canone. Thank you. Yeah. I know there's a difference, but still it's the same general layout. That's a great flyer, Tom. What do you got there? A little Italian Maki M16 Hydro float plane. And uh, this thing was built, I think the U.S. bought a few of these and they made it into, a, or they were trying to make it into a submarine fighter. 30 horsepower, something ridiculous like that. What's really interesting is this is post-World War I, no ailerons. So I have no idea how they managed to fly this thing, but there are flight photos. This is about 18 or 20 inches, I forget, in span. It's always been a good flyer. Sure is a great flyer, yeah. I got some good uh, footage, I think, of it on some yeah. of its uh, earlier flights. Nice job. That's it, thank you. Go ahead, porcupine! Come on, baby. Come on now. And uh, so I put it with those, but it has friends now. And as soon as I did, like the thing started flowering like crazy. I got maybe four or five Would you peppers. trim that in a silo? I uh, know. And uh, so I was thinking, um, you know, I don't want to put it outside. I'm going to try to keep it for another year inside. Do you still have it? Yeah. yeah. It survived all winter. I just, took a, I just pulled a pepper off the other day. I remember if I pulled the peppers off. Peppers, peppers uh, are just going to move Are they? Yeah. I mean, so if you keep them warm, they stay out. Yeah, well, they're not going to take the frost, but yeah, they'll jump. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, now let's see the side again. And what's that design again? And this is actually based on the uh, Grillo's uh, fighter uh, design that we did. It's a one design several years ago, blown up to make it official for Embryo. It's beautiful. All printed tissue, okay, right? Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Go find it. 